got some out in Dallas. Now I'm smelling like LA. Met him from Miami to the Machiavelli. Left the kids on the belly. Left the vid on my cellar. She ate like spaghetti. I'm hitting gas and ready. Met some killers in Memphis. Like they from Oakland. Give me my flowers while I can smell them. Ain't talking about roses. Literally on lean. Mix it like a bought it in Nashville. Then I woke up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's sunny. California, but nothing like Compton. It's more like Calistoga and it's hot as Arizona. I pop me a Fresno, hard colder than Minnesota in October. Don't interrupt, darling. I'm in the zone. Why does everywhere I go just remind me of home? Ah, uh, you know that state of gold with the bed. Them other places come close, but they don't compare. Now I've been in New York, come on, Texas, yeah, Midwest, and it all reminds me of California. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game will feature a team that loves getting it done through the air. The Dolphins are top 10 in passing TDs and they'll go against the Steelers who are very aware of what they'll be dealing with. With that, let's go down to Miami. Standing by, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Okay, Larry, Charles and I, we have brought our talents to South Beach, or at least in the neighborhood of South Beach, as we are in beautiful Miami, Florida. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Miami Dolphins. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays. Squeeze him now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7 nothing Steelers.
Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. It's an 8-yard pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. And thus far in this NFL season, no touchdown scored for him, and he's not going to get it on that play either. He'll try and get it with Forte. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth. Rodgers. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Well, partner, the hit sure looks like a simple route, but I think the issue with it is a lot of time when you're making that play, you're actually working your way back inside towards traffic where the big guys are coming. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Boom Harris, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Working from the gun, Rodgers. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Brandon, more and more offenses are going to the philosophy of using every inch of the field to try and spread things out. And when you're running back and catch the ball as well, that can only help your offense. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. Offense has been out there a while. This is their 14th play in this series. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, 
More times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Rodgers to throw on second down. He's got time. And he's going to be dropped. Back at the 15-yard line. Steve McClendon breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Well, this defensive unit certainly picked a great time to make a stand. Back-to-back -back sacks, starting with first and goal. I have to believe that they'll continue to bring the pressure on third down. This will be caught at the two. That one good for 12 yards. They come out here in the eye. Orbels to throw on second down. And it's caught over the middle by the tight end green. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Ladarius Green, his second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They come up at an offset eye. They'll run again with Vereen. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 
Throwing on first down is Bortles. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Every time I see a hitch pattern dropped, I go back to the combine because there's a drill that they use all the time that's called the gauntlet drill. The receiver catches the ball and just works his way straight down the line and catches it from different sides. And the problem with that drill is that you don't actually have to secure the catch. You just kind of catch it. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Dolphins have got it. Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city with one in, your, in the victory column, oh, that's a fantastic feeling. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. And with that, we sign off from Miami.